YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel where we cover a variety of topics pertaining to technology, human languages, and entrepreneurship. And today's video is going to be a React JS tutorial. Last time we did a Pomodoro app that looked like this. Oh yeah! And this application was inspired by a countdown clock that I did for my own website, xtinapark.com, counting down to a crowdfunding campaign I'm doing for my company. Now, here's something I really did not like about the clock that I had up on my own website. Here I'm going to scroll to the clock, and you can see that on load it shows 10 zeros before it shows the actual countdown time. Today we're going to talk about how to fix that problem by adding a loading screen. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm already in the appropriate folder that I want to be in. Just a reminder that in order to move around in your terminal or command line, depending if you're on Mac or PC, you can use the commands ls to figure out where you are, like what's in the current folder you're in, and cd. So I'll just, cd is change directory. If you do cd dot dot, you can go to the previous directory, which for me is tutorials, and then I can use ls to see, okay, here's what I have here, and I want to go into tutorial number four, the React Loader spin Spinner. So I'll do cd04, and then the star just auto-completes. Okay, so then, like always, I'm going to do the standard create React app, and then give it a name. So I'm going to call this React loading I could have just called that loading <laughs> that's okay okay now that that is done the next thing to do is to open it up in VS code so we write code dot and our VS code comes up and we'll show in this sideline what the create react app created for us. In fact, I should have CD'd into that folder first. So actually I'm going to ls and then we'll see the react loading folder <clears throat> I just made right there. And then I'll do cd react star. Now we see everything that was created for us with create react app. And now I'll do code dot and it'll open that up for us in VS code. Bellissimo. Okay, we have our SRC here. I'm, I'm going to make this screen grab bigger so we can see this entire beautiful page. Okay, so now we have our empty app application. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the classical ternary operator. And we want to have a state variable that tells us whether or not our component is still loading. Our component is a clock. Although for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to have a component that spits out the words clock. You get it. And um, we're also going to use use effect, another hook. So we'll use use state to create our state variable. And we'll use use effect to say, okay, after two and a half seconds, show the component, which should by then be loaded. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, as always, we're going to need to import react from quotations react. I like to add semicolons. You don't have to for import statements. Okay, and then also next to react, we use these curly brackets and we're going to import the hooks use state and use effect, which we'll use in just one moment. And then we also, let's see, anything else that we, we also are going to want to import the components that we haven't made yet, but I'll just write those import statements right now. So we're going to import a component that we will call loading from a folder that we haven't made yet, which will be dot backslash components backslash loading, which is we haven't made that yet. And then we'll do the same thing down here. What you can do that's kind of neat is press command D if you're on a Mac, and that's going to select this word as well as this word, and then you can replace that with clock, which is the component that we will be loading to get to, um, so that it doesn't in my case, show those 10 zeros before it actually shows the countdown timer. Okay, so we've done that. Since we are pulling these in, 
and I'll just add these semicolons so everything's consistent. And why don't we create these components by going into terminal? So on um, the Mac, you can press control back tick, which is to the left of the one. You can see that we're in the create react app folder that we created. And I'm just going to CD into the SRC folder. And then within here, I'm going to use MKDIR, which is make directory to create a folder called components. And then I'm going to see components pop up here as well as here. And I'm going to CD into that, that directory. There should be nothing in there. And then I'm going to use touch to create these components that we're pulling in. So loading.jsx and clock.jsx. And we should see them pop up over here. And then I'm going to, okay, leave, I'm going to leave terminal. So I'm going to press control back tick again, and I'm going to come in here and do this fancy ES7. Yeah. I'm going to come in here and do this fancy ES7 command, RAFCE, which creates a react arrow function. I'm going to press tab and then it creates this out, out for us. I'm going to press con command save. And I'm going to do the same thing over in this loading area. Save. What I'm going to do just so it, things look pretty is I'm going to do a line is equal to center within this div. I'm going to do that for both the clock and the loading.jsx. Whoops. And for the clock, I'm actually just going to include an h1 element in here that says clock because for the purposes of this tutorial, it's, it's not actually important. And then for the loading screen, let's look at this dependency um, uh, PowerPoint that I or PDF that I put on my GitHub. And we can see that we have to import this CSS file as well as the React loader spinner. So that's what we will do here. And then we're going to put this loader in here so we can close that up. And then we're going to want to fill it in with the elements that we can see from the React Loader Spinner documentation. So I'm going to Google React Loader Spinner documentation. Here we go. And here are all the different options they have. Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't know about that one. Interesting. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly this except for me, I'm going to do type is equal to heart and I'm going to change the color. To this color that I use throughout the rest of my website. And I just want to show you that um, I couldn't find. So here's the types of spinners that they have, and I could not find anywhere um, on the documentation or anywhere linked in the documentation that they actually showed what they looked like. So you guys know I have your backs. I did that for you. So check it out here. Okay, so those are your different options for the loading screens. And then of course you can change the height and width. I set mine like um, to be 100 pixels by 100 pixels. That looked good for me. And then it has a timeout of three seconds, but actually we're only gonna keep the loading screen up there for two and a half seconds in my example. And we're gonna do that from within app.js. So what we're gonna do is first, let's do our use state variable. Um, we're gonna create two two variables with use state as we do we'll have a ver uh, state variable called is loading and then we'll have the function to set is loading called set is loading and don't forget to use const out in front of the here there are two const variables and we are going to say equal to use state and then um we'll put in the default value. So for us, that's going to be true because we start out loading and then we'll set it to false after two and a half seconds have lapsed. 
So, and then our component will load after that. So what we'll do for that is do use effect. And this has an arrow function. So that's good. Um, I'm not going to have a return because I don't have anything on component does unmount. I'm only going to have um, when the component mounts, I'd like is loading to change to false after two and a half seconds have lapsed. So I use set timeout and then the timeout is going to be 2500 milliseconds, which is two and a half seconds. And I'm going to do set is loading to false. Okay. And now in this return statement, I don't need to do the line equal center because I did it here. I guess I could have done it there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ternary operator that we know and love so much. So I'm going to have is loading equals equals to true question mark. If is loading is equal to true, then I would like to show the loading screen. Of course, we'll make that a closing tag. Else, I would like to show the clock. Okay, and then um, I'm going to do control backtick, which is to the left of the one again. And I'm going to, you don't have to see the back back, but I will. I'm going to use yarn start. You might be using NPM, that's fine. And interesting, did I not save? Or I left it on a different, um, I left it as the puff loading screen. Okay, I wanna do the hearts and then we'll see it again. Command R to refresh and there's your hearts loading screen and then the clock will show. Okay, so that's all for today's tutorial, you guys. Um, like I said, short and sweet, this was a really easy one. Um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it or got any use out of it and to subscribe to this channel if you are interested in videos like this. Um, and hit the notification bell, little bell next to the subscribe button, um, so that you can get notifications whenever I pop up a new video. So that's all. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and rest of your week. Okay, bye.